1.30, it's Saturday, and that can mean only one thing. Are you ready for the dish? Are you ready for Victoria Talbot with Victoria's Secrets? We go deep here, baby. We go deep. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I'm live radio, I'm getting instructions. Listen, we go deep here. We find out what's going on in the world of show business and fashion from Victoria Talbot, she is the president and CEO of Hype Inc. PR. Hey, baby, how you doing? You there? Hello. Hey, Victoria. Can you hear me? I can. How you doing, baby? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. What's up? Good to hear. So uh, I've been in New York all week, busy, busy, craziness. As you always are. You're always in New York. Actually, you've been in New York City, but you live in New York. I live in New York, but I've been in New York City jumping from event to event. Lots of gossip, lots of fun, uh, craziness going on this week. Okay, so what's your top story today? Oh, God, we have lots of, lots of top stories today. <laughs> um, one of the big ones is uh, Kim, Kim Kardashian. Heard of her. She's accused of being a copycat. Uh, her jewelry line, she has a new store, it's called Dash, and it's right here in Soho. My office is about three doors down, and she has a jewelry line called Belle Noel. We have a place in Atlantic City called Seho, and that's where you can go for a hooker. Ooh. I'm only kidding. <laughs> Any hookers called Belle Noel? I don't know, I'm sorry I interrupted you, I was, I was bad, I just slapped my hand. That's Okay. Anyway, the, the designer, his name is Alex Bitter, is accusing her of being a copycat, to, you know, that she's ordering and placing his jewelry in her store, but copying it for her own jewelry. So there's going to be a lawsuit, and it's, you know, they're getting crazy over that. Okay, that's the yeah. world of reality TV and high fashion at Sears Roebuck. Is exactly. she, aren't, they in, aren't they in Sears? But they're not robots. They anymore. are in Sears, the whole family. So I guess, whole... so if, if they're in Sears, can Kmart be far behind? <laughs> the new Kardashian think, line at Kmart. I don't think you can do that. You know why? Because, um... They're the same owner. Sophia Vergara. Oh. Do you know her? Gorgeous Latino. She used to be a big fashion model, and she has her line now that she announced it's going to be in Kmart. Wait a minute, Juliana knows who she is. She just shook her head. Juliana's the, uh, the sales coordinator and promotions marketing director at the Hard Rock Atlantic City, and she's in here. She's shaking her head with everything you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Kmart because that's a hot, sexy line. I mean, her Christmas and her dresses that she's coming out for the holidays are insane hot. You know, there's nobody hotter. Kim Kardashian, I'm sorry, people don't want to make her hot. They want to say she's this, she's that. And, the, and uh, people are putting her on the worst list and all this. You know, you can do that all you want. She's hot. And, and, I, have the hot. and I have the inside skinny knowing she's coming to Atlantic City. No, she's most wow. the, the most annoying. Yeah. Oh, she's the most annoying. She just got America. most annoying celebrity? Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? Yeah, right. She's, she's annoying because... She is hot. She is on fire. People do like her. They do want to know what's going on. And that annoys some people who make the decisions. Blah, blah, blah. They're just blah, jealous. Blah. Haters. They're all Haters. just jealous. I say you're nobody in Hollywood till somebody wants you dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I get a lot of death notices. <laughs> oh, man. You are something. What's our next story? Okay, so next story. And this kind of was funny to me. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Went out to Austria this week because they're they're opening and launching a museum chronicling his life. <laughs> the Arnold Schwarzenegger Museum, everything about him, uh, from Terminator to you know the governor, and uh, they unveiled a bronze statue that's huge right in front of the museum. So not only did he go from movie star. To governor, now he's got a, a statue, like, you know, he, he went to World War Two or something. So, and other people, are, so, Rocky what? has a statue, yeah, so, so a Patton so has a statue, so. Yeah, so now he's got a statue, too, and his own museum that you just launched yesterday in Austria. Okay, well, so, 
This is this is culture in Austria. All right, I'm down with that. Let's applaud that culture in Austria. I'm down with that. Yeah, Moving over to England, Paul McCartney is getting married for the third time on is Sunday. He, is he really? Yeah, he's getting married to a, a, an American heiress. Her name is Nancy Sheffel. See, here's the thing. See, here's the thing. I just want to say this. Linda was acceptable. Loved Linda McCartney. Paul got married to Linda. It was Linda and Paul McCartney. The fact is... Any Beatle getting married is not really acceptable, especially what John did with Yoko, for crying out loud. Oh, but yeah. for Paul to get married again, it, it hurts me. I, I'm, you inherit. It hurts. I don't want him to be lonely. I, I love Paul. But I, Linda, I, 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 how about that horror he was married to before this girl? I mean, that girl, was a, she was a horror. Yeah, oh. she was a socialite, a British socialite. Oh, you know, she was horrible. Jeez, for the money. Sorry. Where am I going today? <laughs> yeah, but now he's getting married to an heiress. <laughs> no, good. Good. They both need cool anyway, ones. so on a sad note, uh, Steve Jobs, we all know the yeah. founder of Apple, passed yeah. away this week. And, you know, Obama, everybody's Twittering, you know, how sad they are. Then I, I was following the stock a bit just to see. And it opened up in the morning, you know, the day of his funeral, and it dropped insane all day, and then kind of bounced off by the end of the day. He was something, honestly. I know. But, but unfortunately, I think unfortunately, you know, the guy was, can we agree, he was brilliant, he was a genius, he, he, he absolutely had everything together, and I think what's going to happen within the next year, there's going to be lots of books going to trace his, he's, he's an Arab American from his birth parents. He was adopted. I think the stories are going to come out. I think, honestly, I think they're going to p portray him in some places as a nut. And that's going to be horribly wrong. But I'm starting oh, to see signs. I'm already starting to see signs of this. And, and that's that's horribly wrong. But anyway. Yeah, anyway. I agree. Yeah. That makes them interesting, though. So what else are we doing here in Victoria? All right, well, back to the breast cancer, because it is breast cancer awareness. It's Pinktober over the uh, Hard Rock. Uh, Jennifer Addison and Demi Moore have a movie coming out October 10th on Lifetime called Five. And it's uh, about, it's a tribute to breast cancer awareness. Um, and that comes out this week. Wait, but is there a girl in that movie? I, I don't know her name, but was she in Men in Black? There was a, is that the girl who was in Men in Black? There's a girl in that, I see it, I see the commercials for it. And there's a girl that, that was in Men in Black 2, where they sent really? her back to the planet. The girl who they sent back to the planet. Oh, I think yeah, she's yeah. In, what is her name? I saw that. I think she's in that, in that show. Like, I don't, she was working in the pizza shop, and then she found out that she was the... Yeah, the, yeah. The I don't watch Lifetime. Uh, I'm, I'm a male. I, I don't watch it. I, I just don't watch it. It, I, I it just, is geared for women. That station is geared for women. It pisses me off. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't, I don't like being angry. I'm not an angry guy. I'm a happy guy. I like everybody. You are a happy guy. I know. I was speaking to a director last night about a film that he's working on, and I said that uh, we should get you in for a cameo. Oh, here we go. Uh, by the way, well, now that you said that, uh, Victoria and Nick are my press agents and manager, and yeah, they're, they're always working. <laughs> <laughs> really, I mean, I was going through all your video stuff yesterday, oh, okay, and I really think you would make a good cameo, you know, for film. So there, that's the next project. I, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I have a voice for print media and a face for radio. <laughs> so I'm right there. <laughs> you know, I used that line last night. Somebody, you know, came up to me at a party and said, you know, you have a face for radio. Oh, and he's like, man. thanks. <laughs> oh. So, Victoria, what do you got? got what, do you, what are you guys doing this weekend? Um, this weekend, I'm in New York, in the city, and I'm uh, I've got several photo shoots going on this weekend. So I'm just bouncing around the different shoots um, and different jobs. I've got one gal, Carissa Rosario, in from LA, and we're working on her new album. Um, CarissaRosario.com is her website, and we're working on our new album. So we've been in the studio till like two in the morning with different engineers and producers, and just really getting her launch for January. She can do a big launch party in January and break out with her single. So I've been working on that all weekend. That's why 
I, my voice might be a little scratchy because I'm just talking, 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 and you know all these meetings. And we're gonna have that here on the Berman Show. Can't wait. Yes, we are. Can't wait. You will definitely uh, meet Carissa Rosario. She's definitely gonna be the next Jennifer Lopez. Oh, I've heard of Jennifer Lopez. I, she's hot. She's she's big. <laughs> she she has a big butt too. Love well, it. This girl is hot too. Check her website, CarissaRosario.com. You're gonna love her. This is Victoria Talbot from. And now, uh, look, you got to go to the website. You want to find out more about Victoria, and you can find out everything. Allabouthype.com. Allabouthype.com. And you can find Victoria right here on the Mark Berman Show every Saturday at 1.30 with just all the stuff that's going on. She's dishing all oh, over the place. You know what was fun? I did a show this week called The Vinny Villa Show. It's a television show. He was one of the leads in the movie Casino. Yeah. And he has his own talk show now. And I plugged it our show, <laughs> our segment on his show, which aired October 22nd. That's what you do best, baby. You are incredible. <laughs> you are okay, all... One more thing. You are... Okay, okay we, I, got, I got 30 seconds, because you are all about hype, but I got 30 seconds. You got to hit a spot. Go ahead, go. Okay, so Liz Taylor is my favorite of all time. Kate Winslet. Just did a photo shoot in B Magazine. She's on the cover. It's all, you know, stuff that, like, looks of Liz Taylor. you got to check it out. B Magazine. Kate Winslet, Liz Taylor looks. Victoria Talbot. All about, it's all about the hype. You know what I mean? All about hype.com. All about hype.com. you got to go. She'll be back next week. Say hi to Nick, and I'll talk to you throughout the week. Okay, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Vic. Later.